Hey guys, so we're at 141 Rosales Court here in Coco Plum. This is a 5,600 square foot new construction on a 15,000 square foot lot. Here with Alan visiting. Uh, so as we're taking a look as we walk up, you can see it's a brand new construction, kind of a Balinese style. Identify that with the different platforms. You got a keystone lining on the wall here. Beautiful landscaping. Seems like this front structure is a detached for the garage as well as a bedroom. I would imagine they're using it as an office or so. Beautiful elevated uh, walk walkway. Love the landscaping. The teak wall here. So this house is in Coco Plum. They're asking 4.9 million. It's a six bedroom, six bath. Um, it's a little over a thousand dollars a square foot. That the reason being, this is the first new construction of its uh, kind here in Coco Plum. Most of the homes here are resale rehabs, just because of the size of the homes. A lot are crying for redevelopment. So this was a vacant lot they were able to pick up. Definitely beautiful. We walk into the dining room here. Yeah, so we have uh, formal living right here. Have it nice and staged so you can really see what you can do with the space. The linear diffusers, you can see it's lined with speakers, recessed lighting throughout. Love these windows. The design of this living space kind of incorporates, it's meant to kind of match the exterior, uh, kind of indoor, outdoor space to be able to open up these pocket sliding glass doors. This marble is a special marble. If you could see it here, it's 42 by 42 inch marble. The idea was they wanted to kind of design the house and choose a color, color scheme behind this um, particular flooring. So like here with this door, you have a 12 foot door here, 10 foot door. It's meant to match the flooring. Let's make our way into the kitchen. So this is all cupboard space, pantry. So we got here to the left. We have a laundry room. Okay, service quarters here. You absolutely service quarters is a must in this price point in Miami. Uh, usually right off of the kitchen, like it is, kind of away from the living spaces. So you have a full bathroom. Great service quarters. If you have children, you need extra help or just extra maintenance around the house. Nice size laundry room. So as we make it to the kitchen here, we have an Italian cabinet. Cabinetry, we have a gas stove. All the appliances are by Thermador. Great brand. This is a Mia Cucina kitchen. The hidden exhaust, which you can see that up there. We set Thermador appliances, microwave and oven. So great family space right here off. Alan's already making his, Feels making right. it his own. <laughs> Again, indoor, indoor, outdoor living. You can tell this is a great room with these electrical shades. You can be out at the pool, maybe coming back from the boat. Coco Plum has its own marina. Um, retreat to the house, to a nice afternoon movie or something here in the, in the family room. We love this keystone wall surrounding the, the house. Nice covered area. Nice outdoor kitchen space here. Yeah. Outdoor kitchen in Miami is summer kitchens. Absolutely a must. So yeah, this house, as far as uh, design, this is not uh, designed for a spec build and you could really see it throughout. Cost of construction, I'm sure, was about $650, $700 a foot. Um, a lot of times when you come into spec builds, uh, builders tend to kind of cut corners to try to maximize profits. This house was done for the user as a custom build. You got a beautiful floating staircase here. stainless steel um, 
pillars here. They said they had to get this rail right about three or four times before finally finding the right one. So we make a double insulation in the walls. Yeah, the walls are double. So double insulation in the walls, those are all kind of things that you would normally see on a new spec build. The bedrooms here are great size. We have walk-in closets. You already have the build-outs, which in a lot of customs homes, they do not have those installed. They like to let the buyer kind of come up with what they need. All the bathrooms match. You have the floating vanity. Huge linen closet here in the hall. So we have matching rooms here reversed. Again, in suite baths throughout. They all tend to match to the same style in each bathroom. Floating vanity. Glass doors. There's a wraparound balcony around the second floor. That's a great feature. So this bath, this bedroom is basically the opposite of the one we just visited. Let's make our way into the master here. Some great size in the master as we come into the closet. There's one closet, it is massive. So you have his side and her side. They said they rearranged the original design to give it more of a master closet of larger size. You can see they have a powder area here set up. So very thoughtful design throughout this whole house. I really can't think of one thing um, that it's lacking as we go through the checklist. So you can see the floor to ceiling glass here. You have two shower heads, two rain showers, speaker inside of there the tub inside the shower, toilet area is probably sectioned off. So the price point on this house is 4.9 million. You know, coconut, cocoa plum prices have not really caught up just because of the simple fact that there has not been any uh, new construction. But as far as the surrounding area, the size of the home is, uh, it's a, the pricing is appropriate, uh, being that you are in a gated community here in Coral Gables, which is very important to those, and just such a prominent area in, uh, in Coral Gables, um, the safety of the gated community. So 4.9 million, any questions on this 5,600 square foot house in Cocoa Plum, please don't hesitate to reach out. We'll be happy to set up your private tour.